Who are these people? Speaking of the squad, yeah. um, not really the squad. Um, no, again, they're a part is, of it, but yeah, they're they're a part of it for being complicit. Yes, that's exactly yeah, that's, the word I was looking for. Um, but I found this a very um. So I call it student low headaches, but, and I call it that because in this article, thank you from political, political of all places. Uh, written by Michael Stratford, um, where he writes, Biden next, Biden's next student loan headache, a cash crunch at the Education Department. Administration officials mm. prepare for unprecedented restart of student loan payments amid customer service rollback. So according to this guy, the headache is, Oh, the, the department, the education department is going to get a lot of calls for people calling about this. They're not, not they're the not, headache. they're not ready to steal people's money again. Like that's right. the headache okay. is not, oh, Jesus the Christ. headache is not, oh, Biden promises student loan forgiveness. So, you know, I, look, I know I talk about student loans a lot, but. As I said, I was in Miami last weekend. You know, I was talking to my group there for this bachelor party that I went. And, like, one of the guys was still talking about the idea of, like, oh, Biden's going to cancel our loans. Mm. I'm like, no, he's no. not. No, he's not. And, I mean, we've been following, I've been following this for the last few months. And as I've said to people, like, get your money together now. Because... <laughs> A national emergency, like we're no longer in a national emergency with COVID. The public health emergency is going to end within the next couple of weeks. So basically, any debt that has been close to default will be going after. And given that by then, you know, like there is no threat of COVID at all, the Supreme Court is under no obligation to uphold biden's student loan forgiveness done you know especially now as we're now basically we're out of covid we're no longer in that emergency anymore so so please like i'm saying this to people who do have student loans who have not been paying them you know whatever like i feel for you but make plans now because we are going to start paying them back do not expect the Supreme Court to work in your favor. And this article is going to get into more shit as to more of what's going to happen. You know, so I'm doing this to prepare you all um, in terms of what is going to be happening. And I'm saying this now because I'm sure come summer, this will become a big story again. But anyway, a funding shortfall is forcing education department officials to cut customer service to student loan borrowers just as the agency prepares to send millions of Americans their first bills in more than three years. Yep. That doesn't sound like forgiveness to me. Nope. Right? Congress last year rejected the White House request for more money to administer the federal student loan program after Republicans balked at adding extra funds that could be used to implement President Joe Biden's student loan cancellation plan. At the same time, the agency's costs exploded as it implemented a range of new policies, such as expanding the student public service loan forgiveness program, doesn't do enough, and creating a new application process for canceling up to $20,000 of student loan debt. So basically, they spent a lot of money to basically get the information they should have on you on file anyway, mm. which makes no sense. Um, but anyhow... Education department officials, Congress, congressional Democrats, and consumer advocacy groups are now worried that the Biden administration may not have enough money to smoothly transition borrowers back to re into repaying their debt when payments are set to resume later this year. So they're saying the mantra, you're going to start paying it paying back. It right. you're going to start yeah. paying it back. You're going to start paying it back. So there is no talk of cancellation. So, yay. Okay. All right. So, 
The funding woes threatened to exacerbate the political pain of what was always going to be a tricky endeavor for Biden, sending millions of American student loan bills for the first time since their payments were suspended at the start of the pandemic in March 2020. Borrowers are set to face longer hold times to speak to their loan servicing company, potentially slower paperwork processing, and inducing call center hours. It is a slow-moving car crash, said Jared Bass, Senior Director for Higher Education at the Center for American Progress and a former Democratic appropriation staffer. Bass urged lawmakers to find a way to add money for administrating student aid programs even before Congress debates government-wide funding this fall. We see what's about to unfold, so let's just prevent it now and just step in and take preventative measures, he said. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona told House appropriators during a hearing last week that restarting payments will be an unprecedented undertaking that requires an all-hands-on-deck approach. Again, so it's like, no cancellation of student debt or even the possibility never starting. Yep. Right? Never has this been done before where, depending on the decision of the Supreme Court, up to 43 million borrowers are going to start repaying Cardona said. It's a huge lift for our team. I don't give a fuck about your team. I want my loans forgiven. Yep. And everyone else who has student loans too. The Biden administration has said publicly that the moratorium on payments will end this summer, with payments resuming 60 days after either the Supreme Court rules on student debt cancellation or June 30th, whichever comes first. But the Education Department is also contemplating a transition period that will push repayment well into the fall. Department officials have told loan servicers to prepare to resume charging interest on federal loans in September. So... Again, we've not been paying interest on our loans for the last three years. That's also going to start up again. Oh, fun. According to documents obtained by the political under public records requests, officials are eyeing October as the first month in which any borrower will be required to make a payment, the documents show, noting the requirement that borrowers receive a billing statement of at least 21 days in advance of their due date. In addition, education department officials are planning a safety net period in which borrowers aren't penalized for missing payments once repayment begins, according to free people familiar with the discussions. But you're going to pay have... Yes. Yeah. Officials have previously settled on a grace period for the first 90 days after payments are due, but they are now considering extending that flexibility to borrowers for as long as a year after repayment starts, according to two people familiar with internal discussions, who also cautioned that the plans are in flux and could change. The administration is looking at a range of other policies designed to make the student loan system more borrower-friendly amid the looming restarts of payments. For example, the Education Department last month directed loan services to stop collecting on borrower balances that total $100 or less, and to write off those debts, according to one of the documents. This is an increase from the previous pol policy of writing off small balances under $25. But the cash-strapped budget for restarting payments remains a major obstacle for the administration. In a budget document released last month, the Education Department warned that the current level of funding for its student aid operations poses significant risks for implementing a smooth return for repayment. Already, the department has been forced to slash funding to federal student loan servicing companies by nearly 10%. As part of the cutbacks, Biden administration officials last month allowed the loan, forgiveness, the loan companies to curtail their call center operations by 10 hours each week, including eliminating all Saturday hours. Officials also informed the companies that they will not be penalized for failing to meet a performance standard in their contract relating to call wait times that cause borrowers to hang up before reaching a, cons a customer service represent. So basically. So what so about all that? Is, what about the ahead. 10, what about the 10%? What, yeah. what about it? I mean, there's, Why do you there's, clip that? <laughs> but loan servicing companies, but nearly 10%. What about the 10%? Like, uh, but, so he's asking in chat. Like, um, yeah. So, but it's basically like, so people who are going to call, 
within the next few months to yeah. try to figure out what they're going to do as far as student loan repayments are going to put it on hold forever. All in the name of doing shit that Biden promised that he would do. And is not doing it. Yep. This is basically what this article is saying. Student loan forgiveness is not going to happen. I've said that many times on yep. this show. Um, at least, but at least pretty much who's who's in power now. So, right. So, uh, ugh. the the department is deeply concerned. Oh, oh sorry. Wait. Yeah. Uh, let me back it. Yeah, the department is deeply concerned about the lack of adequate annual funding made available to federal student aid this year, an agency spokesperson said in a statement to Politico. As the department has repeatedly made clear, restarting payment requires significant resources to, inform, to avoid unnecessary harm to borrowers, such as cuts to servicing. We continue to urge Congress to fully fund President's Biden fiscal year 24 uh, budget request, which would provide critical resources to FSA. The statement continued. At the same time, we will continue to work closely with services to prioritize providing services to borrowers as quickly and efficiently as possible. The administration is deliberating over how to restart student loan payments. Saying the mantra, yep. student loans are going to restart as conservatives and businesses are ratcheting up pressure to get Biden to end the payment pause, which costs the government roughly $5 billion each month in foregone revenue. SoFi, a private student loan company, and the Mackinac Center, a conservative group, have each filed lawsuits to stop the payment pause, arguing that it's illegal and no longer properly linked to the pandemic emergency. Yep. On Capitol Hill, Republicans are pushing for a vote in the coming weeks on legislation to overturn Biden's student loan debt relief policies, including pause on payments. Speaker Kevin McCarthy told also last week included a repeal of Biden's student loan policies as part of his opening package of policy concessions that House Republicans want in exchange for raising the debt limit. Progressives, meanwhile, are focusing on making sure the White House feels the pressure. Okay to deliver on uh -huh. student loan debt cancellation before restarting payments. What pressure? Well-worded tweets. Uh, yes. President yeah. Biden has persuasively argued that the only way to responsibly restart loan payments without unleashing an economic catastrophe is to broadly cancel student debt, said Michael Pierce, executive director of the Student Borrowing Protection Agency Center Advocacy Group. The president cannot be baited into becoming America's debt collector in chief by his proponents. At the end of the day, his name goes on 40 million student loan bills. And if you remember in our first story this evening, he desperately needs the youth vote. Um, right. So he needs the youth vote. He needs the black vote. Yeah. He needs the suburban vote. And this is that's gonna, all of them going to go in well some for way, them. shape, or form. As student loan debt. Well, they'll also so, use oh. it. They'll also use it as an electoral bludgeon. That, like, if you yeah. elect us back, then we'll then then we'll do okay. it. Right. Then we'll do it. Yeah. But you had three years to do something, and this is what I've been saying over and over again. If Biden was serious, because the reality was it was going to go to court anyway. You know, regardless of when he did it, it was going to be challenged. Biden tied student loan debt forgiveness to the HEROES Act, which is in relation to, you know, a public health emergency. And Biden pushed it back, pushed it back, pushed it back to last summer, got a challenge. And now, basically, you know, they're basically, they're basically all but telling you they have no plan. They're not going to, they don't have an alternative. It's just like, oh, fuck it. Just pay your loans back. Yeah. Right? So, Gen Z, Biden's going to ask for your vote. Do not give it to him unless he gives you your money. Okay? But yeah. most of you are not going to do it anyway because a lot of you do not watch independent media. A lot of people are not going to report on this story until it happens. 
I've been warning you about this for months. Savvy to her credit has also warned you guys for months. I was just on a student loan debt panel with Savvy, um, Imani, and case study, what, a month ago talking yep. about this? <clears throat> yep. They're not going to do shit in terms of student loan debt cancellation. This was a ploy to get you guys to vote for Biden in the midterms. And now, then don't have a backup plan. They're not going to fight for you. Student loans, basically, come fall, are going to be due. And if you choose to vote for Biden after this, because I know you and Jesse reported on um, these TikTok, like social media influencers yeah. who are trying to, you know, persuade you to vote for Biden now, like, Don't go for it. Like, yeah. this should be more than enough reason to be like, fuck the duopoly. We know the Republicans are already going to do shit. And you're essentially giving away your vote because Biden bad. I mean, Trump, well, both are bad, but Biden worse. No, Trump is worse, according to them. So... <laughs> yeah so I, I i have nothing more to say but again like i wanted to report on this story and i know i've said this story multiple times on different occasions yeah but again i care for you guys and i care for you especially since this affects me too i want my loans to be forgiven and i don't have that much left to be forgiven honestly right now i think i have about 14 left so potentially, depending on how they choose to do it, I might have my full loans forgiven. They're not going to do it, though. So yep. again, Biden wants, needs the young people's vote. Mm -hmm. And as you said, Reed, they're going to use that to be like, oh, well, you, we need you to have put all Democrats back in office again, and then we'll do it. So, so again, the fuck shit. Um, and, but I'll finish the story and then I'll close this. Um, beyond the customer service, the department has already forced to reduce other efforts to ease borrowers back into repayment remaining in limbo. That includes extra outreach to populations of borrowers who are particularly at risk of falling behind on payments. And it's also not clear whether the, the education department will be able to fully implement by the new more generous repayment program before their payment pause ends. So basically, like they've been bragging about like, oh, like student loan payments will be capped at 5% mm -hmm. or something like that. That's not even guaranteed. That's even going to happen now. Yep. So basically right now they're scrambling because they know they're fucked. But they're trying to scramble to try to make the situation easy for them. Yes. In terms of making their transition easy for them. But it's going to be the headache. The true headache is going to be for us who, had, yeah. who probably had to make calls, kind of going to be on hold forever to try to talk to these student loan services about what they can do. And ending up having to pay the full shebang as as it were pre-pandemic. Yeah. <clears throat> like yep. Travis saying I should just chill out and live in a bed. <laughs> I should just I wish. <laughs> um um Anyway, the budget challenge stems from Congress decision last year to keep funding for the Office of Federal Student Aid flat at about 2 billion, rejecting the administration's request of a roughly 30% increase. Republicans appropri appropriators offered to increase education department's administrative funding for student loans, but only if it came with a prohibition on using the money for debt cancellation, according to two people familiar with the negotiations. In recent weeks, education department officials briefly briefed Congress congressional staff on the funding situation for the remainder of fiscal year, which ends September 30th. The agency expects its available funds to be fully utilized to support a return to repayment, and department plans to reprogram and shift around some money to boost its loan servicing operations, according to a copy of the plan obtained by Politico. 
Democrats plan to press for more funding for the Office of Federal Student Aid in the coming months as Congress hammers out government funding for next year, according to House and Senate aides. The administration says it needs a $620 million increase, about 30% from the current level of funding, though that figure assumes debt cancellation will happen, which is all promised not. Yeah. There will be tens of millions of fewer accounts to manage. Yep. A group of Senate Democrats led by the snake herself earlier this month warned of catastrophic consequences for millions of working and middle class Americans if the education department doesn't get that funding to help borrowers navigate the response. So even she is like, fuck it, you're paying your loans back. <laughs> like, no, catast no catastrophe in terms of people paying back of not canceling the debt, but like catastrophe results of like for people to repay. So, uh, Congressional Republican Rosa DeLorio, the top Democrat on the House Appropriations Committee, will continue to fight for additional resources to FCA to help paint grab recipients and student borrowers a spokesperson said in a statement. Mark Goldwyn, Senior Vice President and Senior Policy Director for the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, a nonpartisan group that advocates for deficit reduction, said says while he's sympathetic to the Education Department's need for funding to properly restart repayments, the administration has a credibility gap on the issue. Yep. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me seven times, shame on me, he said referring to the Education Department's many extensions of the payment pause. There's no question that they need resources to be able to restart repayments and collect the money. The question is, if you give them the resources, are they going to use it for that? Or are they going to use it for their various debt cancellation schemes? Goldwyn said he supports efforts by the administration to minimize the massive disruption of payments restoring from millions of borrowers, such as pulling borrowers out of default and suspending typical penalties from mis- missed payments. It's much better to do this well and with a little more gr grace than to do it poorly and save a few dollars, he said. Yeah. When you know where that money's going. It's going to go to middle of Europe. You know? Yeah. Probably. Um, well. Any thoughts, Reef? I mean, I know, and again, I know this doesn't affect you, but thankfully, you know, I, thankfully uh but again we yeah. have people in the chat you know who've gone to college or grad school are in debt have been i wouldn't say blessed but have had some time not to repay if you chose that option and yeah like there's so many people who are banking on the idea that student loans will be forgiven that somehow the supreme court they're not going to work in your best interest. And basically, this this uh, article has pretty much all it said. I mean, essentially, the Biden administration, administration is asking where it's money at. Where's my money? Right. right. But not for the reasons that you think. It's yeah. not. It's basically it's to, to help their employees yes. deal with the calls that they're going to get over the next couple of months. Yes, to to then steal more money, like right. that's yes, right. So um, terrible. So so well, again, once again, please, please make preparations now. Yep, preparation and, H even. Yeah, you know. So. Um,